Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can manage your iCloud storage and backups as well as iTunes Wi-Fi sync in iOS 5. So being that iCloud and wireless syncing were a couple of the big features with iOS 5, it's definitely something worth looking into. So like a lot of things in iOS, first off you're going to want to go into settings. And from here you're going to scroll down until you see the iCloud tab. Now this tab is also where you can configure iCloud on your device if you haven't yet. And you can see here I've set it up, I have all these different settings turned on. So if I scroll down a little bit more, I get to this storage and backup tab. And if I select that, I can see my total storage, which is 5 gigabytes, and that's the standard that you get with iCloud. And how much is available. And if I scroll down a little bit more, I can turn on or off iCloud backup. And I can backup right now or I could even hit manage storage and from here I can see a little more detailed information so for example how much space documents and data and mail are taking up on my iPod as well as backups so you can see here this backup um, from 5.32 p.m. is 1.9 gigabytes and you can see how much space each thing takes up in the backup and I can delete the backup or I can see how much space total I have on iCloud at, right at the bottom. And if I go back one tab, I can even click on Buy More Storage. And if you don't know about this, it's pretty neat uh, because you can upgrade from the free 5 gigabyte storage to 10 gigs, 20 gigs, or 50 gigs. And those are 20, 40, and $100 per year. Now, personally, I wouldn't really recommend going over 10 gigs. I think 5 gigs is probably enough for almost everybody. Personally, I might be able to make use of the 10 gigabyte package. But I think for most users, 5 gigabytes should be plenty. So now, when I want to back up my iPod in this case, assuming when I set up my device, I selected backup to iCloud and not backup to computer, all I really have to do now is just hit backup now. And it's going to back up and it'll estimate the time remaining, as you can see at the bottom. So that's all there really is to managing iCloud and your backups with iOS 5. It's pretty easy. And just as a side note, you can also back up to your computer and iCloud if you so choose and I'll show you that in a couple minutes. So if I go back out to my main settings window and I hit general from here I can scroll down until I see iTunes Wi-Fi sync and it's kinda of hidden from plain view you have to kind of dig in a couple menus to find it uh, but it's right here under general and now what you see here has been perplexing a lot of people Apple says this is wireless syncing uh, but if you what you can see here it says sync with iTunes on your computer when your iPod Touch is plugged into power and connected to Wi-Fi. And a lot of people were saying it kind of defeats the purpose of wireless syncing. So my iPod is connected to Wi-Fi and if I plug it in you can see that sync now will become an option and I'll be able to use wireless syncing. Uh, but it kind of defeats the purpose and a lot of people have been saying this because now my iPod is plugged in to my computer with iTunes open so what's really the difference between this and the old method of syncing? Well, I thought this at first too, but there's a handy thing you can check in iTunes that will enable your iPod to sync without having to be plugged in. So once my device is plugged in and connected to the computer, all I have to do is select it in the sidebar. And here I can see a lot of options. First off, I can change whether I want to back up to iCloud or back up to this computer. So this is where you can enable iCloud backups if you haven't done that already. And if you look a little bit below that, you'll be able to see the setting I was talking about. All I have to do is check sync this iPod over Wi-Fi and then click apply in the corner and it'll take just a second and that's all you have to do to configure your device to sync without having to be plugged in. So now you can see that even if I unplug my iPod from the wall or the computer the sync now option still remains available and I can hit sync now and it'll start syncing and you'll know that your device is syncing with iTunes because you'll see this little syncing animation up on your status bar. Now of course you still need to have iTunes open to do this but at least you don't have to be connected to the computer. If you just leave iTunes open you can go anywhere in your house and continue using your device without having to have it plugged in and without having to directly interface with iTunes. So there you go, there's how you can manage iCloud backups as well as iTunes wireless syncing in iOS 5. As always if you have anything you'd like to see me do a how-to on, whether it's Mac OS 10 or iOS, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.